girl. The sawbone squats, his satchel by his knees, his back to the cart and the mules in their feed bags. He runs his fingers over Roy's tourniquet and runs his thumb over his finger, sniffs the lot and says he's taking Roy's leg. What shit you are, I say. What's he left with it gone? The sawbones pushes his specs up his disjointed nose and points out that if he leaves the leg attached, Roy will be gone. Roy's girl, just three, explores her mouth through the fingers. Her eyes as big and gold as coins. She squats in the dirt in front of a thorny patch of shrubs, a wealth in piss-stained trousers, the night growing fabulous and starling above the glacier scraped hills behind her. Girls knew with us. Roy fetched her from the mother less than a week back. Don't know why he picked her up when he did, since one, he knew the child's age from the letter, and two, he already had that crushed toe sending stripes at his foot. The sawbones and specks flashed flat lens in the flame of the fire pit. I suspect they don't so much alter his vision as give him a look. He bends over Roy, who's laid out in flaccid under the cactus. Roy's hair and skin and clothes are slick in basin dust. The firelight blinks over his silhouette, pretties his discolored leg and cracked lips. His cocky flip of curls thrown back on his bony nose and cheeks and spread over the dirt. His eyes closed, been passed out a while. I grab his good foot and jostle and release. Might go anyway, I'd say.